hi guys, welcome to this video. This is Dennis from Spot Home. Today we're here in Valencia. We'll be checking out um, a pretty nice apartment, okay? Uh, first of all, we're gonna see how the distribution of the apartments uh, works like, more or less. So, first of all, we go through the entrance and we head right into the um, living room area, okay? Which kind of conforms squared um, space. And attached to this living room, we got um, bedroom number one, bedroom number two, bedroom number three. And we also got the access uh, through a door to the kitchen which at the same time has the access to the bathroom. So to sum up, we find three bedrooms, we've got one kitchen, one living room, and we've got one bathroom, okay? Um, everything's fully furnished, so that means that we've got all the equipment that we need in each of the uh, parts of the apartment. Also furniture, it's pretty modern, so uh, that's really cool. We've got um, the floor, which is really cool. We've got uh, furniture, really, really modern, really nice um, soft tones going on throughout the whole apartment, which makes it pretty comfy to stay in here. Also, it is mainly an exterior apartment since we got um, pretty much bedroom number one and bedroom number two um, heading into the street. So that's um, always a plus, as you can imagine. Um, area to live in is pretty nice, okay? It's a normal neighborhood. We got uh, pretty much all the services that we need. Actually, as we will see uh, through the windows in bedroom number one and bedroom number two, we can literally see um, a food store. So as you can imagine, just go downstairs, uh, we can grab some food. That's really, really nice and really comfortable. At the same time, we're situated in the beach area of Valencia, okay, in the port area, so uh, we've got the beach pretty near, um, all the activities that we can do, uh, which are next to the sea, um, restaurants, really, really nice um, um, overall, okay? So we're gonna start off first checking out a brief plan of the apartment to see how it distributes, okay? Entrance over here, okay, through this door, we come a few steps, we head into the living room area, and as we mentioned, kind of squared space over here where we got attached a door with the access to the kitchen. This kitchen leads us then the access to the bathroom. And then at the same time attached to the living room, we find bedroom number three, bedroom number two, and bedroom number one over here. Okay, so we're gonna go first to this side to check out the entrance area. As you can see, um, pretty normal, we find Mirror over here, which is pretty, pretty large, okay? It is really useful to have just besides our entrance door, okay? And we're gonna place ourselves right now just over here, okay? So this would be exactly um, our view if we went through the entrance door. As we mentioned, mirror at the right-hand side, and if we go just a few steps in a straight line, we find the living room area. All right, really nice and neat overall, as we mentioned, um, pretty modern furniture, really nice and soft tones, and we got over here a table surrounded by three chairs. We got the television, which is attached over here to the wall. We got the AC unit, which is really, really important. To the side, we find the couch. Okay. On top of it, we got a mirror. We got this light also hanging from the ceiling. We're gonna turn out over here. Okay, so we can check it from a different angle. Okay, so really um, neat overall. Now we're gonna go um, through this space. First of checking that we got some plant decoration. We got an extra piece of furniture over here. And we're gonna access the kitchen through this door. Okay, so you can see we find fridge over here. We got quite a lot of space over here on the top hand side for storage. We got the cooking fire, we got the oven, we got microwave, um, really nicely settled into this space, which is kind of um, built into the wall. Okay, we also see that we got a coffee machine. And turning to this other side, we got the sink, more space for storage underneath, and we got the access, as we mentioned previously, to the bathroom. So if we go inside, we can see that we got a sink. We got this glass shelf over here on top of the sink. We find a mirror with two lights on the top. The shower, which is really nicely settled in this corner over here. Okay, and to this other side, we got uh, first of the toilet, and second, we got um, this kind of window over here, okay, with some other views. Um, now, if we go to this side, we can go to the kitchen once again, and we're gonna start off checking out bedroom number one over here, okay. Um, as we see, pretty nice. We find a single size bed with some bed lining and towels over here. We find some shelves to this side an extra shelf over here. 
we got this rounded table, a window with some street views and also as we mentioned the food supermarket and over here we got this standalone wardrobe where we got plenty of space to store our clothes okay now we're gonna head and check out bedroom number two which is over here we got a double sized bed okay also bed lining and towels included we got two tables at each of the sides of the bed find some decoration with some pictures on the walls we got this shelf over here this chest of drawers okay and turning to the other side we got um pretty much these two standalone wardrobes okay where we find a lot of space for storage too we got a desk if we want to study um, or do whatever we can do it really nicely over here and we got a window which has pretty much same exact views as we saw from um, bedroom number one also we can cover it up with this door so that's pretty useful okay and now we're gonna head to this side to check out pretty much the last part of the apartment which would be bedroom number three and we find the single size bed attached um, to the side of the wall we got also bed linen and towels included some shelves settled um, over here we find this window which um, leads us pretty much the access into the kitchen area okay and to top off this bedroom we find over here this standalone wardrobe which has also quite a lot of space to store our clothes okay right guys so this has been the visit for today this has been dennis from Super at home hope you really enjoyed this video we worry you just over here and let's see you in the next one mm -hmm.